The Lord says some secret to be exposed. This last week we just finished yesterday. You can write this in capital letters. The wind is blowing. This one, when we go ahead, we will say more. We will say more in the sense that, uh, you know, uh, we know where they blend this in. Some of the terminals, some of the NMPC people and uh, some, you know, traders have opened uh, a blending plant somewhere of uh, Malta. We all know these areas. We know what they are doing. It's not that we don't know. Talking about Nigeria, because the wind is blowing, some serious secrets will come to the open. Okay, we are always very, very careful. You heard what I said. In the refinery, we did not, and I repeat, we did not collect one single incentive from the federal government of Nigeria or from even the Lagos state of Nigeria. Yes, Lagos state, maybe they gave us a good deal, but we paid $100 million for the land. It wasn't a free land. We paid for it. Hello guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Thank you so much for stopping by to watch today's video. If you are coming across our channel for the very first time, please do where to subscribe to the channel, turn on your notification bell so whenever I post another video, you'll be notified. The video I'm about to watch right now is a mind blowing prophecy from Professor Segu. He has a real shocking thing that will soon be happening in Nigeria in this year 2024. He said that some secrets are going to be exposed, some top secrets are going to be exposed in Nigeria in this year 2024. And I will not waste your time, I'll just like watch this video and listen to what the prophet have said is going to be happening in Nigeria in this year 2024 and then let me know what you think about it in the comment section please after watching please don't click away i have something important to share with you at the end of the video and please do me a favor like this video and drop a comment so you can continue to recommend the video to more people and don't forget to share the video on all social media platforms share with your friends and loved ones so they will know what god is saying concerning our nation nigeria and what god have said concerning the president of the federal republic of nigeria thank you so much for doing so watch the video i have good news for you this revival you see will not be aborted. The Lord says some secret to be exposed. This last week we just finished yesterday. I want to one the Bukwaram S men. Those behind Bukwaram S men, the president exposed them. Probably yesterday or early this morning, they've released all the students that were kidnapped. Hey, Cherry. I'm not trying to scare you, but make sure your store is filled up with food. I'm not trying to scare you just try as much as possible make sure the food in your store is not finished make sure you don't allow the food in your store to get finished once you take a, a probably a bowl of rice or beans please make sure you restore them back I don't know what is going to happen because if I say it out those social media men will start carrying it here and there as you probably take a spoon or you take a pot or you take a scoop in your store that you've loaded with food ensure sure to replace them Make sure your food, your, the food in your store doesn't get finished. Till this year will come to an end. Because I can see that the evil one wants to help the evil one to fight themselves. But the most powerful one that is the authority will overcome them but after that this wicked people they will now start initiating bad incidents to start happening at places 
advice is from President Tinubu. The advice I want to give President Tinubu is that. Go to work. Security is Ibo Ibo de to wo to wo ile yoba ile. Ose to kama mbele luna injiria ile yoba kanga. Bobo ibo de to wo ile yoba igana. Eh, kina kwe igana. Okay, ubu. Eh, owo de di roko. Eh, kina kwe. Boda. On a Sherry Abi, on a Shaki, Oko, Tinumbu, President Tinumbu, Oluana Missi, you know, no Nigga Gomba in Shemu by Israel, no Debero Wola Wayo, Co, I want security, I want security. See Bobo, he put it to war, he lay Yoba, Tori Tabale, she, I shed him out to go, I shed him out to go, to many young. Then Bomini Bibu Bote won Nigeria, Emma Jacun Jetan, Nilayi, President Tinumbu, Binyodu, Bogwa, one Lati, Lieutenant, and Lieutenant, and Major Captain Losoke Bear, for Wo Dimwalenu, O Wo, Be Dimwalenu, O Ribeto Ba for Wo Dimwalenu, one she and when Badega Koja Lorie. Ashiri ma tu agbara de ma jabo ashiri ma tu gan inu iwo gan adun emi o support ya o like ya for nothing praise the lord hallelujah eki hallelujah dada hallelujah ise ti olorun ran mi le bi nje i'm only delivering the message that the lord has sent me wait before you continue watching this video please do me a favor like the video and drop a comment so youtube can continue to recommend this video to more people god bless you as you do so keep watching the video gbo awon major gbo awon junior junior officer and the both senior officer both navy army air force and thank you to thank you to abi customer and immigration 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 awon olopa je loju onile a je loju ologbo bribe gbogbo won fu te won olorun o te ba je won ni pese e lo san e fun won ni awon allowance kole wo bi asiri ma tu asiri ma tu asiri awon fulani ni o asiri awon fulani ni o de wa ni je ni je to nigeria block ibe da 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 asiri ma tu o asiri oba kan ma tu ni ile awusa president nubu ile awusa asiri oba kan oba to lo kodu laarin won ni asiri e ma tu president gosinta le je fe mi o ebi ra wo bi ebi gosinta le che o mojo ti ma ku be ti wa ye o mojo ti o kan je pe ku yan da o mojo ti ma ku praise the lord hallelujah one who wants to come and come to you, oh family, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let us pray this prayer very well. Let us pray this prayer very well. Oh Lord, we yield to our dog pada. God, change the countenance of the day for me, Siriri. For me, from evil to good. Oh yeah, equages equadua be. Oh God, Jesus. Yo ju ojo pada Lord change the countenance of the day for me sirere for me change it from evil to good Yo ju ojo pada change the countenance of the day Lord egbadada pray it very well egbadada pray it very well Yo ju ojo pada change the countenance of the day Lord eba olorun soro talk to God Yo ju ojo pada change the countenance of the day for me sirere for me from evil to good Children of God at the back, please pray. Change the countenance of the day. For me, Siri. Change it for me, Lord, from evil to good. Shami. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. 
I'm sure you have all heard everything the prophet have said will be happening in Nigeria in this year 2024. And I'm sure you have heard that he said that things will become more difficult. He said that what we are seeing right now will be nothing compared to what is coming. So the only thing I'm going to ask us to do right now is that we should pray for Nigeria. We should remember Nigeria in prayer. In as much as we want secrets to be exposed, the people that are holding Nigeria back to be exposed we also want things to be easier at least for the common man i've always said this that when all these things are happening the people that are going to suffer most are just the common people the ordinary people people that did not even contribute to what is going on in the country so that is why it is important for us to pray some people may be saying no let us not pray let us allow things to happen that nigeria is a, is a useless country and nigeria is this nigeria is that see at the end of the day it is not going to affect these politicians that we are looking at i've always been saying these things whenever you are calling for violence and saying that oh we should go and riot we should go and do this we should go and uh, uh, block road we should go and do all sort of things the people it is still going to affect is you and i these people they are ready to be using our our private jets our our helicopters to be flying and beating all the hold up they don't care about you it is you that hold up will still hold it is you that will not go to work it is you that they will not pay salary so the only thing we have the only power we have the only thing we can do at the moment is to pray we all know what happened at Lake Itogate when we say let's go and do small protests. You saw what happened. So it tells you that these people, when you make certain decisions that is related to protests, they don't mind killing and destroying us. So the only thing we can do now that they cannot control, that they, they, they will not even know, they will not even see it coming, is prayer. Prayer is the weapon, one important weapon we have. That is one important weapon we can use to combat whatever the enemy is planning to do in Nigeria. We want secrets to be exposed. We want this evil man to be exposed. But at the end of the day, we want it to be done in a peaceful way. Like the prophet has said, that things are going to become more difficult. We don't want that. So that is why I am urging us that we should pray for the country, Nigeria. The reason why I'm saying we should pray against it is not uh, at the end of the day, after we finish praying now, that the thing did not happen, we will not say it's a fake prophet. No. When prophecies come like this, I believe that some of them has to be uh, so that we can intercede and pray against it. So things like this, for us, that when it starts like this, it is going to affect our loved ones more. It is important for us to rise up in prayer. It is important for us to pray against it. Because all these politicians have, have been saying it. They don't care. So if you like, they, they have enough money stacked up that if you like, block the road for one year, they and their family and their extended family. And they are, in fact, their entire community, they are okay. They can provide for all of them. They have stolen that much. Just imagine that the year just started though. We are hearing that they have shared billions of, of Naira. Billions of Naira, they have stolen that just this, uh, 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 we are still in the fourth month, but they have stolen this amount of money. So it tells you how much they steal year in, year out. So please, let us do well to pray for our country, Nigeria. We don't want things to become more difficult. The prophet has said that we should store food in our house. I, I heard it, I, 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 I nearly said it here, because when they start warning you like this to pack food in your house, <laughs> It, is, it means it's serious. It means it's serious. It looks like there's going to be like a sort of lockdown. And we don't want that. So please let us pray that whatever needs to be exposed should be exposed. And when, it, when we're talking about it being exposed, if you have been following us on this channel, you see that I did a video earlier where Papa Ia Debe was also saying that some secrets will also be exposed in this year 2024. He said that some secrets, some balloons will burst and some secrets are going to be exposed. So it means that this is not the only man, he is not the first uh, man of God to say it. It means that something, there is something that is cooking that will soon like it will soon it will soon come out for everybody to see. So let us pray that as all these secrets are going to be exposed, because he mentioned that the people that are going to be exposed, that they are going to attack, they are going to do things to make sure that things become difficult for, for the for, for Nigerians. So that is why I am urging us to pray. Let us rise up and pray for our country, Nigeria. Nigeria needs prayer. That Nigeria needs prayer. Let us pray for ourselves, pray for our loved ones, pray for everybody that God should help protect and direct us. The reason why I, I maintain that we should pray for ourselves is because I have said it, I'm saying it again. When it happens, it is not going to affect these corrupt politicians, these criminals who call leaders. It is not going to affect them. We have also heard a series of prophecies where they say that uh, Cyrus is coming. My prayer is that wherever this Cyrus is right now, that when all these things start, he should emerge and take over the power they say he is going to take over and help fix our country, Nigeria. Because Nigeria, things in Nigeria right now is really tough. Honestly, Nigeria right now, a lot of people are complaining. A lot of people are complaining. Even as dollar has uh, like uh, have dropped and depreciated, and Naira is at least doing doing better than it was doing last uh, two weeks or so. Things are still skyrocketing in Nigeria. Prices of things don't want to go down. 
So please, I am urging all of us to rise up and pray for our country, Nigeria. Nigeria is the only country we have. We don't have another country. So let us not watch our country fall apart because we don't want to pray, because we don't like Tinibu, because we don't like this person. Because let us put tribe aside, put politics aside, put religion aside, and come together and pray for our country, Nigeria. Nigeria needs prayer because I will say it again. It is you and I that is going to suffer from it when the time comes. So let us not allow this thing that is uh, boiling to, to like to spill up everywhere. Let us not allow this trouble that is looming to burst on our faces. Let us pray to God to intervene and help tackle it in a way that it is not going to affect us. So let us pray for our country, Nigeria. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please don't forget subscribe to the channel, turn on your notification bell so whenever I post another video, you'll be notified. If you're a returning subscriber, I want to use this opportunity to say thank you to you. Thank you for always stopping by to watch our video. We love and appreciate the support you give us on this channel. God bless you. I appreciate it. I appreciate the fact that you always stop by to watch the video. You like our video, you share our video. May God bless you. May God reward you. May God supply you as you have been supporting us on this channel. Please don't forget, like the video and drop a comment so you too can continue to recommend this video to more people. God bless you. As to do so i'll see you in the next video you are blessed i have good news for you your will is being written i am what i am by the grace of god as long as that grace does not fail satan will never fail. this revival you see will not be aborted